anniversary. Hope you're all doing well and enjoying the weather and remembering to put on sun lotion if you do go outside because it's really, really hot. Um, so there's no birthdays, so I think we're all caught up on those. I'm going to show you some work and a video of the tadpoles being released. Now the video was taken by my daughter and when we were watching it back we realised that it's somehow been done in slow motion. Maybe she's the time lapse button, I'm not sure. So instead of me talking, it sounds a bit like me, well at times it sounds like I could possibly be a frog or a toad and other times it sounds a bit like I'm mooing. So enjoy that, um, I'm going to show you some of your work now. Okay. Okay, so we're starting with some lovely pictures that Milena has sent in. Well done, Mimi. Oh, I love those two colours together. So beautiful. And, oh, she's been practising her name. Well done, Milena. And then this is Stella growing some cress. We love cress. That's one of the things we definitely would be doing at nursery, but... We'll either do it when we get back or we'll do it in reception. It will happen. And this is Stella's science experiment. So what she's done here, she's used some sticks of celery and she's put them in different, um, I think it's water with some food colouring. And what has happened to the leaves of the celery? Again, that's something we did last year in nursery. I tried it with white flowers as well. You put white flowers in and see what happens to the white flowers. Okay, and this is from Etta. A brilliant picture of a crocodile. It's so good, and she's labelled it really well. Big teeth, tummy. And that is Etta's plate of healthy food. Yummo. And there is Etta with Isla, just chilling in their garden. Having a really good share in the book. Always a nice thing to see. And we have Zephy. Now, this is Zephy's Fossil Museum. And I have a video of Zephy's Fossil Museum that I wanted to show you. But I just need to wait for his uh, mum and dad to say, yes, that's okay. So if we don't see it this week, we'll see it next week if it's okay with mum and dad. And you can actually go inside that box and see his Fossil Museum. It's really cool. Now, this is a good one. This, Bobby's mum sent me this. This is Bobby putting away some of his clothes. Can you tell what clothes they are? I think Bobby's hanging up his pants. And this is Bobby with his sister Bella. And now this is a perfect example of playing being learning because what he did was he they got all their teddies and their soft toys and they grouped them into different things like predators, carnivores. Then they counted them all up and they made a tally. They recorded them. Brilliant maths going on there. Okay, and there we have Zach in Burgess Park. He's feeding the ducks. Zach, I want to know what you're feeding them. Is that frozen peas? That's what I thought it was. I know you're not meant to feed them bread, so I'm sure you, I bet your mum knows what to feed them. Right, we have next <laughs> Reuben. And Reuben is, you can see he's in nursery there. So he, that's some literacy work he was doing while he's been at school. Um, oh, Zach again, oh, this modelling, model making looks amazing, Zach. Um, you can't see it, but his sister Zoe was helping as well, I think. Uh, now, this one we might have seen before, but this is Matilda's, start of Matilda's sunflower. Um, and it looks like, maybe that's quince growing next to her, I'm not sure. But I know that Matilda's mum um, is going to send in another picture soon of her sunflower, and we can see how much it's grown. Right, and this is some, um, I was in school last week, and these are the radishes that we planted. And there's also, oh, this is Maya's work on the swifts, and she found a rainbow using the glass. I saw Maya, actually, out on the street. We said hello to each other. And what else? Jordan has been reading The Hungry, Caterp Hungry Caterpillar, and that's a brilliant model of The Hungry Caterpillar. Um, right, something came, something flew through my door and Louis, Louis Lippington had made me this beautiful bird which I thought would look right, quite nice as a sort of hair clip but watch out, look what happened. Uh oh, uh oh, my two cats absolutely loved it. I think they could tell the feathers belonged to a bird. Louis, I have rescued the bird 
and it is safe and sound from my naughty cat. Okay, this is back at school. There's some lovely cornflowers growing. Broad beans. That is something new that we've planted while we've been there. That is purple sprouting. So when you come back to school, you will be able to eat some purple sprouting quite soon. Um, these are nasturtiums. Now these are delicious. Those little flowers, you can eat the leaves as well, but the flowers are absolutely delicious. They're quite peppery and they grow really quickly. Um, and that one, I think this is the last one. That is Miss Harper doing some weeding. So she's weeding in amongst the lettuces we've been growing. And then we had to try and pick some of the lettuces out because there wasn't enough room for them to grow. And Miss Harper found that really, really hard to try and pull out some of the lettuces. Not physically hard, just emotionally hard because only some of the lettuces can keep growing. I think, yep, that's an end. Right, let's go over to the tadpole release. Now, um, my daughter filmed this for me and it sounds a bit strange because I think we've had it on slow motion. So you can't really hear me talking. It just sounds like I might be a toad or a frog or even a cow mooing. So anyway, let's have a look. No, it's normal there. Oh, and then it goes into slow motion, which is quite good though, because you get to see, <laughs> you will get to see one of the tiny little frogs a bit later. Unless I was just moving really slowly, but look how slow the water's going. I don't think I could make the water go that slowly. And you can just hear like, whoop, whoop. that's actually me talking, but I can't remember what I was saying. <laughs> so this pond is in the bottom of my garden. A lot of that green weed on the top is called duckweed, which I probably should clear away a little bit. There's other sorts of um, good plants in there that give them oxygen, though. Here we go. Here's the tiny little frog. It's a perfect miniature frog from those tadpoles, which came from the frog spawn. So it was frog spawn, tadpole, froglet. And you can hear me going, woo, woo, woo. that's me talking. <laughs> so sweet. And I will hopefully see him again sometimes. Most of the year, the frogs don't live in the water. They, they live in the sort of garden area near water. So they spend most of their time out of the water. In a minute, he's going to jump, I think. Whee! There he goes. And that funny mooing sound isn't a cow. It's, <laughs> it's me talking in really slow motion. I think it goes back to normal just at, <laughs> just at the end. <laughs> Unless it was my tummy rumbling, maybe that was it. I don't think so, though. I think it's just... Strange filming. <laughs> there goes the other one. There was another one in there that wasn't quite as developed as um, that little frog. He didn't quite have the chiselled little head. He still had quite a fat head because he was still a frog look rather than a than a fully formed little frog. <laughs> Back to normal. And that was it. Okay, I will see you next week on our weekly check in. Bye.